My biggest problem with Squid Game is that the fifth round ain't fair. This is where the show completely fell apart for me. Because it's here where the show needed to kill the most players so we can have the 1v1 finale. Challenges 1 and 2 could have been won by all of the players without casualties. And challenges 3 and 4 could have been won by half the participants. But then comes the fifth game in which all of the players could have just died. The chances of the first player to win is unimaginable. The rules of the games were violated by a player, and everybody saw it, but there was no punishment. One of the frontline players forced a player from the back to skip a tile ahead, and there were no consequences of that. Worst part of the game is that even if you won, you still could have just died from the shattering of the glass. By the way, I still don't know how they were able to shatter that glass. Did they shoot it from below? <laughs> what was that scene? Three of the people who actually managed to win the game almost lost an eye. And one of them just got stabbed and probably they were gonna bleed out to death. Wow, what a fair game, right? Also, what kind of a kid's game do they have in Korea where children just jump on glass that breaks and a glass that doesn't break. Like the other games had a team. What the fuck is the team on this game? Chess? <laughs> Outside of this episode, I have minor problems with a lot of stuff too. Like the main character not checking the present he gives his daughter. By the way, that pistol is apparently a kid's toy from a kid's grapple machine. Like, what the fuck, Korea? <laughs> Do they actually have those in Korea? <laughs> also love how the police officer didn't get caught when he was basically removing his clothing and he was removing the other guy's clothing in, within the car, basically changing it, and nobody noticed in the other cars. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> also, I don't understand why the childhood friend left the MC get shafted in the second game. Also don't know why... The VIPs proceeded to have the sixth game, even though one of the VIPs got calmed. I also hate the stupid way the police officer got caught on the island, because the way they saw him, it was really weird. Also not killing the MC after he slid th the throat of the girl, like he could have just killed the MC too, why, why didn't he do that, he would have won the game immediately. At that point he had killed multiple people, including the guy from Pakistan. <laughs> I also hated the finale, you know. We have to go back, Kate. We have to go back! Uh, what the fuck. And on to the topic of fairness. My favorite scene where uh, they basically intervene during the night calling, because the old fart said so. You know, he was on top of the staircase and basically screaming. And the frontman basically ordered the guards to subdue the situation. What happened to Fairness? Why didn't they just leave the old man to die? I mean, he was participating in the game. Also, I don't know why they didn't kill him in episode 6. What happened to Fairness, Grandpa? <laughs> you should have died, Grandpa. <laughs> The part that I'm actually shocked by is the tug of war part, because they could have rigged the match, make the grandpa team fight a weaker one, and ensure that the grandpa doesn't die, because he could have died easily. I just imagine the frontman being like, when the grandpa was uh, going up the elevator, oh my god, he's gonna die, what am I gonna do? <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. I sincerely hate the fairness angle of this show since none of this is fair, just like the Saw franchise. <laughs> you should watch uh, YMS's video on it, it's a pretty good uh, video. Outside of that, um, the actors are very convincing, there is a lot of stuff that I actually liked before the games even begin. The daily life of the main character seemed very interesting. And if there is a sequel, I hope they explore it more. And this show is 5 out of 10. Goodbye. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fair rating. <laughs>